Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, uh, an example problem on Booth's algorithm. So in our previous session, we have discussed about the procedure of Booth's algorithm and also we have seen one example and uh, here uh, in today's session, we'll see another example. So just uh, uh, recalling the concept, the Booth's algorithm is to perform the multiplication on signed binary numbers. Right. So, in our previous example, we have seen, I think, uh, uh, minus 4 into 3. That means, we have taken one negative number and one positive number and we have performed the multiplication. In today's session, we will discuss about the product of two negative numbers. So, that we need to get the result in a positive value. Right. So, let us start the procedure. So, the topic is Booth's algorithm. That is a binary multiplication. Binary multiplication. So, what we have to do? So, we need to uh, compare a Qn and a Qn plus 1. So, there will be uh, comparing 2 bits means a 4 bits. I mean, 4 combinations we will get. If both are zeros and both are 1s, then we need to perform arithmetic shift right of a q q n plus 1 arithmetic shift right of q a q q n plus 1 and decrement n with n minus 1 and if it is 1 and 0 we need to subtract the multiplicand accumulator and then perform arithmetic shift right of a q q n plus 1 and n is equal to n minus 1. So, we need to perform the three operations there and if it is 0 1 then add m that means a multiplicand with the accumulator and then perform arithmetic shift right of a q q n plus 1 and decrement the n value with 1 and compare so repeat, repeat until n is equal to is equal to 0. If so, the result, the result will be in a and q, a and q, either it may be a positive value or a negative value. Now consider the m into q, which is a multiply, multiplicand and a multiplier is equal to minus 4 into minus 3. So we need to perform this. Multiplication on minus 4 and minus 3. I am taking very small numbers, right? So, you can take any number, any number. So, here, as we have just discussed, this is a signed, signed numbers. This multiplication is for signed numbers. So, signed numbers means we need to represent this with including the sign. So, m is equal to minus 4. So, minus 4 means 2's complement of 4. So, what is the 4 representation? 0, 1, 0, 0. But this is a signed number, so the first bit should be representing the sign. So here this is a positive, I will give additional bit to represent the sign. So this will be the 4, okay, the representation of 4. And minus 4 means 2's complement of this one. So 2's complement means 1's complement plus 1. So already I have recorded this one, how to find the 2's complement, how to find the 1's complement. So I will post the link in the description, so you go through that one. So, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 and you have to add 1. So, it will be 0, carry 1 and 0, carry 1. So, 1, 1, 1. So, this is the binary representation for minus 4. Okay. So, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. Right. Now, what is the binary representation for minus 3? So, for 3, we can represent in 4 bits 0, 0, 1, 1. And as this is a signed numbers, okay, so first bit should represent the sign. So this is a positive value, I will give it 0. Then minus 3, it would become 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, add 1. So this is a 1's complement. So 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So this is a binary representation for minus 3. So 
q is equal to minus 3 1 1 1 0 1 then then see before going to the procedure here if you observe if the q and q n plus 1 bits are 1 and 0 we need to perform a minus m so in order to avoid the subtraction you can uh, replace it with the addition like a plus minus m okay a plus minus m so we can find out this minus m so we know m as 1 1 1 0 0 if you want to go with the minus m just uh, uh, apply the two's complement so 0 0 0 1 1 and 1 so 0 the carry 1 0 the carry 1 1 0 0 so which is nothing but 4 okay so let us write here minus m is equal to minus of minus 4 is equal to 0 0 1 0 0 so yes we have completed the representations now we have to solve the problem by applying this procedure now let us consider so i'll write the minus m here so minus m is equal to 0 uh, 0 1 0 0 so this is the minus m value now consider the accumulator accumulator and uh, multiplier and uh, qn plus 1 and n value right qn plus 1 and n value now let us take it so a value a value initially 0 initialize a accumulator accumulator register with a 0 so how many bits we are representing for each number 5 bits so just initialize with 5 zeros and q is a multiplier so take down the q q is 1 1 1 0 1 qn plus 1 it's an additional bit okay additional bit consider with a 0 and n is number of bits so it is a 5 so this is a initial position initial position right this is the initial position now what we have to do we have to compare qn qn means see this qn means lsb of q lsb of q so here the lsb of q is 1 and 0 qn plus 1 is 0 1 and 0 if the bits are 1 and 0 we need to perform the subtraction okay so a minus m so a minus m that that can be written as a plus minus m so we need to add a and minus m which is a is 0 minus m value is this one so 0 0 1 0 0 and 0 0 1 0 0 so this is the reserve which is stored in accumulator just go with this one 0 0 1 0 0 right and here it remains same and it remains same it remains same so here we have performed a tends to a minus m okay then what we have to do we have to or apply the arithmetic shift right arithmetic shift right means all the bits should be shifted towards the right and the msb should be same because msb bit represents the sign sign of the number right so this bit represents the same so msb bit will be same and all the bits should be shifted towards the right so 0 0 1 0 and this will comes here 0 one 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 zero and this will comes here and n n should be decremented with one four so here we have performed arithmetic shift right of a q q n plus one and n is equal to n minus one we have performed these operations right so after completion of the second term we have completed this one now check with the result i mean check with the n value which is 4 which is not equal to 0 so we need to repeat the same process again compare qn and qn plus 1 so the qn and qn plus 1 are 0 and 1 so if it is 0 and 1 what we have to do we have to add the multiplicand to the accumulator so what we have to do a is equal to a plus m so what is the value of a so value of a is 0 0 0 1 0 and what is the value of m so 1 1 1 
0 0 so what's the result 1 1 1 1 0 4 1 side 0 so after performing the addition of multiplicand with the accumulator the result will be all zeros i mean all ones 4 1 side 0 and here 0 triple 1 0 1 and here it becomes 4 not the 3 4 because just we have performed a tends to a plus m after that we need to perform the arithmetic shift right arithmetic shift right again this bit becomes here and all the remaining bits will be shifted towards right side so 1 1 1 1 and this 0 becomes here will be placed here 0 0 1 1 1 and this becomes here so it will be 0 and here it will be 3 so that is arithmetic shift right of a q arithmetic shift right of a q q n plus 1 and n minus 1 so both the operations has been done now <coughs> again you can perform so here n value is 3 n value is 3 not equal to 0 again repeat the same process so again what we have to do again compare the q n q n plus 1 1 and 0 so 1 and 0 means again you have to perform this one a is equal to a minus m which can be written as a plus of minus m so what is the value of a all ones <coughs> and minus m value is 0 0 1 0 0 so the result will be 1 1 and 0 and a carry 1 and 0 and a carry 1 and 0 and a carry 1 so here you can discard this carry you can simply discard this carry just note down the value so three zeros and double one so here the value of a after updating three three zeros and double one okay discard the carry now now again this is zero zero one 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 and zero and this will be three and we have performed a tends to a minus m this is done now what we have to do again arithmetic shift right so this will be same and all the bits will be moved towards right side so one so this becomes here one zero zero one one and here it will be one and two we have performed arithmetic shift right of a q q n plus one and n minus one so we have performed these operations right now n is equal to two which is not equal to zero so again we need to repeat the same process again compare qn and qn plus 1 1 and 1 both are ones you need not change the accumulator so simply you can perform the arithmetic shift right so arithmetic shift right so this this becomes here and all the remaining bits will be moved towards right side so 1 1 and uh, 0 0 1 and 1 and decrement the n value with uh, 1 so the output will be this one this one okay again n is equal to 1 which is not equal to 0 so again we have to repeat the same process so again both compare the qn and qn plus 1 both are ones both are ones perform the arithmetic shift right so again the msb bit will be remain same all the remaining bits will be shifted towards right side so 0 so this becomes here 0 <coughs> 1 1 0 0 and 1 and 0 so here we have performed arithmetic shift right of a q q n plus 1 and n minus 1 now you can observe n value is 0 here okay see this this becomes here right okay arithmetic shift right so here you can observe the n value is 0 so if n value is 0 the result will be a q the result will be in a q so the result of this one will be in a q which is nothing but a value all zeros 5 bits and q value 0 double 1 0 0 so what's the binary representation here you can observe the msb msb is 0 that implies the result is a positive number okay if it's a negative number the msb bit will be in a negative number so we, we need to perform the proof complement to find the positive value 
so but here here you can observe the msb bit is zero that means it is a positive value so what is the binary decimal value of this one so 1 2 4 8 so the bits of 8 and 4 are 1 and rest of the bits will be 0 that means 8 plus 4 the result is 12 and the msb is 0 so that will be a positive so minus 4 and minus 3 the result is plus 12 plus 12 right so this is how we can perform any multiplication of any signed numbers by using this booth's algorithm right so hope you understood this procedure so if you are having any doubts regarding this procedure feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching Thank you very much.